Well, welcome back to the channel. We are here in Ocala, Florida at Ocala Tractor, and we are looking at the TYM 754 today. You guys come along for the ride. All right, let's talk about the transmission a little bit. This has got 16 forward speeds and uh, 16 reverse, and going from forward reverse, so this is in neutral now. Forward, you just pull up, it's electric shift, shuttle shift. Then you come back to reverse, like you're doing loader work, just forward, reverse, forward, reverse. This is your neutral. And then you've got your, your range is here, which is low, medium, and high. And then over here you have your, your, your transmission, if you will. Then uh, this is a synchronized transmission. So first, second, third, and fourth. So you can actually get out, if you're on a high range, on the, on the road and you're gonna transport this to another field site, you just start off in first high and then shift through just like you would in a, in a standard shift car until you get to fourth gear high range and this thing will move on. So I, I like the fact that this is synchronized. This is your third function valve uh, control here in the cab on your loader control. This is your loader control here. And then uh, as you're doing your third function, you just, you know, you just take one of your fingers and it's a single finger operation. But just in a, you know, I'd probably go right there with that with my ring finger. Just within just a f little bit of time, you would have this down to you would you wouldn't even be thinking about it anymore. It'd just be second nature. All right, the window is got the hydraulic cylinders on there to hold it up, so you're not going to be back here rattling and bouncing. And you take the side windows open here, and then you take this top and open it up. And in the spring day, you probably won't need any, uh, you know, air conditioner on. You get a lot of good ventilation through here. Uh, and you can talk to somebody. It's one thing I, you know, some tractors don't have the side windows. I can turn the tractor off and talk to somebody like this through the window. And then uh, go on about my business without having to get off the tractor. Now, this is a Deutsch engine. Uh, it's got 74 horsepower. And as you can see, it is... Uh, easy to get to. TYM does a real good job on all of their tractors about making it uh, maintenance friendly, especially if you take the loader off. If you're going to do like your, your own service on this thing, you'll take your loader off, set it off to the side, and you can get to anything on this tractor uh, standing on the ground just about. This is, uh, get the radiator here in the back. This is the turbo intercooler here. Uh, I believe this is the air conditioner condenser, and then it's an oil cooler here. Uh, everything's just really uh, easy to get to. Here's your air filter. It's got the cyclone uh, air filter deal where it, it circulates and causes the dirt to drop down in the bottom here so when you're it's easy to clean out you don't have to always take the filter out to get the dust out battery is easy to get to just everything is right there in the front and easy to get to here's the air conditioner compressor now, this is a large compressor for this size tractor but you got a lot of glass so you need a lot of cooling one thing I, i've been told is these tractors will freeze you out the alternator is tucked up and out of the way. Everything's tucked up and out of the way, and uh, you're not going to hit anything when you're uh, when you're working this tractor. All right, even though this tractor has got these big old tires on it, this thing's got really good turning radius. Uh, yeah, for such a big big tire, it's got it, it turns really sharp. Do a lot of work with this. It seems to be really comfortable. Uh, another thing I can see here too is the, just sitting in the cab right now and it's got great visibility. All right, talking about this being a good size tractor for hay, uh, this thing runs 64 horsepower at the PTO. So that, that'll run just about anything you'd want, any kind of baler you would want. A big bat wing mower, uh, it, it run, run that all day long. About any kind of bat wing mower you'd want to put behind it, it'll run it. So plenty of PTO horsepower for most all operations. All right, this three-point hitch is a category two. It's got the uh, telescoping hitch ends. Like I said, it's class two. Right here, it'll lift over 5,000 pounds. And you go 24 inches behind, it'll still lift 30, like 3,500 pounds all the way out to here. Big hobby farmers on down. We, we won't have anything big enough to uh, you know, even challenge this tractor. This tractor comes standard with a self-leveling loader. So if I put, turn the bucket to flat and then push it down, it'll stay, it'll stay flat all the way down. Now this is at idle right now, and this thing is extremely fast. I've got great flow rate. Yeah, this will be a great, I mean, a utility tractor for any farm. Uh, but especially, I can see this, like in hay operations or just 
a maybe a bigger hobby farm, this thing would have enough power to do anything you'd want it to do. All right, this tractor comes standard with two remote, two sets of remotes uh, here and here, and it, it, there's an option for a third remote set of factory remotes if you need it. I, I can see this tractor being really good to uh, do loader work with. I mean, it's the electric shuttle, the shuttle ship. Just, I mean, it's ridiculous easy. There's mechanical shuttle shift, and then there's electric. This is a electric, and it's almost like it's easy as hydrostatic, but I think with time, with all the different gear ratios, it would get to be very, very uh, proficient with this. Just a little loader work here. I like that with the... Uh, you got the throttle on the floor. Self-leveling again, like I said before. Keeps the bucket level. I like it.
Hey, I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching our channel. If you like what we do, hit the thumbs up. If you really like what we do, hit the subscribe button and the bell. The bell will give you a notification every time we put something out new. God bless and have a great day.